Hello and welcome to Ray Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome morning. I missed you guys, you know, I had to do some personal stuff, to personal stuff to take care of. But now I'm back with some Red Heart news and you bet I got some news for you today. Now our first topic of the video, veteran actor McDonald Ndota Nam Tundra passes on. Sadly, we are starting off today's video with some sad news for the South African film and television industry following the passing of legendary actor McDonald Ndotanam Tundra in the early hours of Tuesday, yesterday on the 1st of June 2021. Now, the news of his passing was announced by his daughter on social media. She posted the following picture and captioned it RIP Daddy hashtag heartbroken. McDonald Ndotanam Tundra passed away today with a heartbroken emoji. Definitely condolences to his family. Now, McDonald was a brilliant actor and a music producer, best known for his role on SABC's successful drama Home Affairs. Others might remember the veteran actor for his role as Opa in the SABC One comedy series Kululega. He also starred in the SABC One drama series Intika in 2011. Now, one of his biggest television gigs saw him in the SABC One miniseries Ukukuno Andile, which is based on the Shakespearean play Romeo and Juliet in 2008. And old school generation fans might remember him on the SABC One soapy as Mawande's father. But just like I said, currently there are some tributes pouring in on social media and may he rest in peace. Now, before we move on to our next topic, please do me a huge favor. If you do enjoy the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot and also if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads our next topic, Bonang Mateba, implies that she is still indeed waiting for her 500,000 rands from vlogger Ria Hupane. Now, media personality Bonang Mateba has indeed suggested that blogger Ria Hupane has to face the music after the 10 days she gave him together and pay back the 500,000 rands for allegedly defamation of character has passed. Now, for those that have been on social media, you might have realized that Bonang actually landed on the Twitter trend list after South Africans realized that it had been 10 days since since she served Ria with a letter of demand on Twitter, in which she demanded an extensive apology and 500,000 rands for allegedly damages to her reputation. Now, Ria did do those apologies as asked, all that is missing is the 500,000 rands. So a user on social media actually asked Bonang, have you received your money B? To which Bonang replied, he was served the summons a few days ago, now gear six. She also posted the poppy South dance. They are dancing indeed. Now, for those that don't know, this actually comes after the YouTuber Ria Hubane, who is half of the Ria and Black Step podcast, said that Scoop Makatini had told him that Bonang had allegedly introduced AKA to drugs. Now, of course, Ria did not use the words allegedly. He just went straight up and said, you know what? Scoop told us that Bonang introduced AKA to drugs. And thus, he now finds himself in the situation that is currently at. Now, apart from that, Bonang was also asked to go what is he saying about the money bonang replied to that law wait you will see bonang was also asked to go to what is he saying about the money bonang replied to that law wait you will see so yes bonang has asked her fans to be patient as things will soon unfold now, meanwhile, Ria Hupane hasn't said anything on social media about paying 500,000 rands. Instead, the vlogger has promised to talk about his experience in the near future. Now, on one of his more recent podcasts, Ria talked about how he couldn't believe everything that was happening since the viral clip and said that it was really interesting, that he was still in shock by everything that happened and that he didn't really believe it was happening and he still does not even believe it now. I'm sure once he transfers 500,000 rands, he'll start believing it. But yeah, do comment down below and let me know what you guys think about Bonang Pursuit suing this 500,000 rand. I am sure that there are some of you who thought that she was bluffing, right? Our next topic, Zozibini Tunzi's doll receives mixed reactions as many claim it does not resemble her. A celebrity doll artist from Sri Lanka has come under fire for his Zozibini Tunzi doll, which fans here in South Africa claim has very little resemblance to the former Miss Universe. Now, the independent celebrity doll artist who goes by the name Niggy Dolls on social media, I hope I pronounced that right, Niggy Dolls, Sounds a little bit wrong. But anyways, they made a doll which was inspired by Zozibini Tunzi. Now, they posted the following picture of the doll and a picture of Zozibini there next to it. And they captioned it, doll inspired by Miss Universe 2019, Zozibini Tunzi, Miss South Africa. No repost without credit at Negi Dolls, Sri Lankan celebrity doll artist. 
Now, before you go complaining and saying it looks nothing like Zozibini Tunzi, do read the first sentence there. It says, doll inspired by Miss Universe. It's not saying this is a replica. It's more of an inspired type of doll. But nonetheless, I suppose some people didn't read that part on social media. A user on Twitter posted the picture and captioned it. We know Mushe Zozibini Tunzi Uzbonile Standwa. Uh, a heart emoji there at the end. Now, a user replied to that, doesn't look like her. No, no, no. Another user replied to the same comment and wrote, the doll looks like Sisi Nokolo Khutbom or Sisi Nolin. Not bad, I think the face is too big. Another user wrote, hmm, well, at least they got the attire right, but that does not look a thing like Zozi. Come to think about it, the attire does look spot on. And am I seeing things? But the doll looks like it's got a weave on. I mean, Uzozibini Tunzi has short hair. She's got a cut. But like I said earlier on, this is not a replica doll. This is more of a doll that is inspired by Zozibini Tunzi. They should have just said it's inspired by her dress. But, you know, it is what it is. Do comment down below and let me know what you guys think about that doll. Our next topic, King Munada ready to fight Big Zulu. Now, if you've been on social media recently, you might have seen musician King Monada on that trend list. Now, last week, King Monada actually posted a picture saying that he was ready to fight Big Zulu. He posted the following picture on his Instagram that is written, please caption this for Big Zulu. Now, King Monada wrote that challenge accepted. Now, I do believe that Big Zulu did reply saying that, is there anyone else that he can fight? Declining the fight. Nonetheless, it does seem that King Monada is actually practicing his boss. He posted a couple of pictures and videos of himself, you know, boxing there. A little bit funny. Let me play some of those videos for you guys. <laughs> now, after watching that, do give me a prediction. What round do you think King Monada would knock out Big Zulu in? Is it the first round? Second round? <laughs> but on a more serious note, I mean, I think King Monada would be, uh, you know, best suited with someone like uh, like a comedian, like a tall Esmo. King Monada and tall Esmo, I'd watch that. Big Zulu, Big Zulu needs a bigger fighter. Even Abo Kespa in your vest and Prince KP, I feel like they, they, they wouldn't give him much of a, of a challenge. Big Zulu and someone big in the end, DJ Fresh. Big Zulu and DJ Fresh, that is a fight. I'd like to see. But yeah, do comment down below and let me know what you guys think about King Monada practicing, him saying that he is more than ready for a boxing match. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Real Live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos.